Rolling all through the city with the windows down, putting on like I used to, man. Hey, boys, go add me up on all this shit. You know what it is, Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. And by the way, if you want to donate, then I have all that in the description. On my front page, you can donate. I'll read your message off in a video, put you on the front page. I try not to be one of those guys that, like, you know, puts all the ads in the videos, like 10,000 ads a video and having a sponsor in every single video and all this sponsorship shit. I try to keep all that to a minimum because I don't want it to be annoying. So I do appreciate when you guys donate to me because uh, it definitely helps out the smaller YouTuber. But um, yeah, but if you don't want to donate, it's all good, bro. I totally understand. But I've always, just always been one of those kind of guys. Just it, when I'm a watching YouTube videos, I think about how I would see things, right? So it's like when I go to watch a video and there's 10 ads in a 10 minute long video, I can't even watch the fucking video. It's like, dog, some of you YouTubers need to realize what what your viewers are actually experiencing. Like they can't even watch your fucking video because you're putting too many ads in the videos. Or you go to a YouTuber where they're, you know what I'm saying? They're they're shouting out 10,000 advertisements from all these different companies in every single video and you can't even watch their video. Like some of you YouTubers need to realize what the hell is going on and chill out. I mean, I know you're trying to make that bread. I know you're trying to make that money, but like there's a point there where you're kind of it's 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 backfiring on you it's going the other direction on you because you're losing people that way you may be making a little bit more money but you're losing people so then therefore you're losing money because then you're not getting as many views and getting as much money from the the ads themselves you know what i mean so it's like a i don't know i've just always thought that about some youtubers but yeah man they call it a leap of faith <laughs> What the fuck? It's a 20-foot jump. Leap of faith, boys. Watch out. Oh, it's so dangerous. So scary, guys. Literally a 10-foot jump on this shit. It, it's going to be gnarly. Got to be careful on it, boys. So I found it to be quite cute how Milestone <laughs> posted their little video on their Instagram page giving all these little, like where all these bigger YouTubers had said these positive things about their game. Like, for instance, they, you know, put that Start Your System said the cornering felt really good, and Tylen said this, said the playground is good or whatever, and Wyndham said this thing about it or whatnot, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Milestone, why don't you, why don't you be a little bit, you know, more trying to like boost up the positivity of your game. Like, why don't you just let the game do the talking? Why do you have to put all these, what these other bigger YouTubers said about it to try to skew everybody's opinion on it? Like, oh, fucking worst jumps in any motocross game ever. You know, Spencer Turley 2019. Where the hell is that at in your trailer, Milestone? Why don't you put some real shit in there? It's like, at least with MX versus ATV, like they, they, it's just a totally different mindset. You know what I mean? They come in there and ask me, if I want to give early reviews of their shit and say that I can still say whatever the hell I want to say about it, and then you got Milestone over here literally going in there and putting just the positive, just a few positive things that some of these bigger YouTubers said about it. It's all they put in there, man. <laughs> Good God, Milestone. Like, I get, I get that's business, but at the same time, that's some fuck shit. Like, real people see through that, dog. Like, you got to understand. And then, of course... I don't know if we're ever going to get that whole, like, official motocross game with the official Supercross game. I know now that they're working with THQ Nordic, um, or that's like their parent company or whatever, obviously they have the rights to the official pro motocross series. You never know, right? Um, I saw the Resolute Kraken dude talking about this. He was talking about, like... You know, maybe we could see that combination motocross supercross game now. And to some of you guys thinking the whole, it's never going to happen. It can't happen, dude. That's impossible. That would never happen. Well, let me break this to you. It did happen with MX versus ATV All Out. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know why you're acting like it can't happen. All those supercross tracks and MX versus ATV All Out when it first came out were replica supercross tracks. Were they full blown licensed supercross tracks? No. Did they have Monster Energy logos and shit on everything? No. But they still were technically replica supercross tracks, right? And then they come out with the Pro AMA full blown national replica DLC. So literally in MX versus ATV All Out right now, you have full blown. 
AMA replica motocross tracks and you have replica supercross tracks in it. So don't sit here and act like that's not possible or that could never happen or whatever these bullshit excuses everybody tries to give that, that can never happen. That's a load of horseshit because MX vs. ATV All Out literally did that. I know it's in a little bit of a roundabout way, but they still did it. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's what I'm getting. At. Don't act like it's completely impossible because that's not true. Um, so who knows? We may see that in the future. I don't have any idea. That's what everybody really wants is that full blown national and supercross game together versus splitting everything up and still charging you sixty dollars like it's a full pl- a full blown game. That's some horseshit. I don't care who you are. That's some horseshit. Now if these games were thirty bucks. Hell, I wouldn't even hardly say anything negative about them because that would change everything. But they're not 30 bucks. They're 60 bucks, full blown AAA, and they're half of a normal content of a normal motocross game. Oh, and tons of the DLC that they charge you for after the game comes out should have already been in the game to begin with. So it's really not $60 games. They're really like $80, $90, $100 games a piece if you want to have, you know, the real content that was supposed to be in it. But even at that, a lot of times their motocross games don't have enough supercross content. A lot of times their supercross game doesn't have enough motocross content. And then they hardly have any enduro, you know, hair scramble content or anything like that. You know, that little like like what you expect in a normal motocross game, like that little side series, like that little Omnicross, or or uh, this game has a waypoint series, but it's not waypoint like reflex waypoint. You know what I mean? Um, and of course, when you have way more free ride tracks with a waypoint series, it seems completely different versus this, where it's every waypoint track is made on the same little half-assed compound track in the game. You know, um, I don't know why they don't allow you to make like waypoint tracks on any track in the game that I'm a little confused on why that's not possible in this game. That would just open up the doors in sanity, like being able to make your own waypoint tracks, your own layout, your own like paths and stuff on the standard MXGP tracks of the game or anybody's custom track. You make your own waypoint track on it or whatever. I uh, don't really see why that's not a possibility, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to MXGP 2020, they're really going to have to improve that main menu screen, get away from all this basic, boring wh- white screen vibe, like the most simplistic UI and um, all of that that you could possibly have, like main menu and all that. They've got to get away from that. They've got to really change the the overall like how you pick through gear menus and how you customize the bike. They've got to do something at this point because if they don't, it's just going to feel like the same experience over and over and over. They've got to go in there and add something cool like 50cc bikes or 500s or something. You know, the MX vs. ATV series not only has the whole side of Supercross and Motocross in one game, and then that cool little Enduro series or whatever series it is, but then they have other vehicles completely like four-wheelers and you know trophy trucks and if if you go back to the old days they had monster trucks airplanes golf carts everything your grandmother could imagine right it is so crazy how then you get to these milestone games and it's literally same price same 60 dollar full-blown triple a kind of game it's got half the content in it half the vehicle design and content even if you don't want to put like four wheelers and the whole nine into these milestone games you can still have 50 cc dirt bikes and 500 cc dirt bikes and um you know more on that side of everything and the two strokes in the supercross game still don't know why that was never a thing oh well they, they can't they don't run uh, two strokes in real life uh monster energy supercross spencer don't you know like dude that is fucking retarded. I'm just telling you right now that there's so many like defenses people try to have for these milestone games like that they're official and that's why they can't have this or they're official so they can't put that in there. A lot of that shit is just a bunch of horse shit. Like you understand a lot of that is just defending less content. That's all it is. And and really it sh- that that don't even make no sense. Like it don't even make no sense how you can have two strokes in your MXGP game, but then you don't put them in your Supercross game. That's retarded. Like, I can't believe that's they would even. I can't believe Milestone would even allow that to happen. Like, you know, if Official Monster Energy Supercross was like, no, do not put two strokes in this game. Uh, if I was Milestone, I'd be like, what the fuck are you even saying? Like, 
dude, we're going to put two strokes in our game, two strokes forever, baby. You know, like why, why would they allow that? I don't know who's, who it's on that's not allowing two strokes in the Supergrass games, but you need to go wake up to smelling some fucking premix in the morning or something because you forgot how many people still love two strokes and motocross and supercross. That's still a heavy, heavy aspect to motocross gaming, the whole two stroke side of everything. That's still massive in these games. Either way, dudes, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the old MXGB 2020 thing. Who the hell knows, man? We may not even get an MXGB 2020. That's another way to look at it. Like, they may say, you know what? We're going to finally smarten up and not make an MXGP game for 2020, and then we'll just make a really amazing game in 2021, or we'll really sit back, not make any game in 2020, and then combine them for 2021 and have all the content in there. The fucking sick ass track indoor and outdoor track editor in the same game. And every custom track editor piece works on either one. So you can interchange everything and have hybrid outdoor tracks, motocross, indoor motocross tracks, elevation, supercross, outdoor hybrid tracks, enduro tracks, the whole nine. And you got all the official supercross tracks of 2021, all the official MXGP tracks or official national tracks of 2021 in the same game. You've got five different or three different compounds with motocross and supercross tracks on them, free ride tracks with big jumps. You've got all of that, dog, all of it. Could you imagine? Could you imagine that game? Like, if they actually did that and it was $60, then I would be like, okay, now we're getting somewhere here, Milestone. Now you're actually meeting that $60 AAA price range. You know, now you're actually giving us what we deserve. I swear to God, I'll go in there and say that if they come out with all that. I swear to God, I will. Now, mark my words right the fuck now. If they make that game, Hell, if they can just potentially make that game and just have at least the physics system of MX should be 2019, even though if they take a year, you'd think it'd be even better. But if they can have at least this physics system with, um, you know, like that full-blown game, I'll still say all of it. Even if they don't make massive improvements to their physics system, if they just have that combined, conjointed game, oh my God, dude. Like the positivity I would give to that is insanity. You'd think I was a Milestone fanboy if they did that shit. <laughs> like, for real. That's how many positive things I'd be saying about that game because that's really the way motocross games should be. That's really what they should be and that's what they always have been, right? With the unleashed, untamed reflex right that's what they've always been all out like motocross supercross you know that's that's what motocross games are supposed to be C combined conjointed together not separated and still 60 dollars you understand what i'm saying milestones getting away with murder right now i swear to god they are when it comes to the price of their games they're literally getting away with murder like that this is unheard of being able because I even think back in the days when MX versus ATV kind of wanted to go down that road of just Supercross. Didn't they make the game half price? I'm pretty sure MX versus ATV Supercross was like half price because they knew it was half the content, right? But the milestone games know that they're giving you half the content, but still charge you sixty dollars, boy. Still hitting you with the work. You know what I'm saying? 60 bucks, boys. Hey, you got to watch out these YouTubers out there, man. They're giving you boys a runaround right now. I'm just saying, be careful what opinions you're believing. Be careful, because I've seen it all at this point. They'll say anything positive about anything. It don't matter how it really is. Everybody's in this, like, fairy tale land. Look at the graphics of that new Milestone game. I don't even care about the actual gameplay. It's just amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's so many of them in that fucking vibe because they want to be positive because of course positivity is going to get them more views more um not necessarily more views but just more positive feedback you know they don't they're not going to offend anybody they're not going to have to stress out about any of that you know it's just it's easier to be the nice guy it's easier to be mr positive about everything and and when something is negative or something you don't really like they they just barely say it. They'll be like, ooh, I, I just didn't really think that was the best thing versus being like, yo, fuck that. What is this? You know, I'm I'm just another, I'm another animal, boy. Like, canine at heart, I'm a dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just tell it like it is. Ain't none of these other dudes saying it 
like I'm saying it. None of them. None of them. I mean, there's a couple of them that are saying somewhat of the real thing, but still not even not even half of the real opinion like like what I'm saying. They're not say they're not, you know, really like packing that punch with what they're saying whenever it's something that they really, really disagree with or they really, really don't like. They don't really fucking get the grit, you know what I'm saying? They don't really say it like they should be saying it. And so that everybody thinks it's not really that bad. But in in reality, it is that bad. You know what I mean? Um, but either way, I appreciate all the support, boys. We're going to keep on doing it. They ain't never going to stop me. You know what it is. It's too easy, baby. Too easy.